AWE are on a very large, very impressive recruitment drive at the moment. And tell us more about AWE itself and the recruitment drive. I'm delighted to have their CEO, Nick Elliott. Nick, thanks very much for joining us. It's great to see you. That's no, a pleasure. Great to be back at Farnborough, where I've been many times before. Not as hot as two years ago, which is a joy, of course. And not as wet as about four years ago. There is it, that. So it was flooded out. <laughs> We've had it all, haven't we? It was kind of in the middle at the moment. Now, can you give us, first of all, a bit of a, an introduction to who AWE are? Yeah, so AWE is uh, the UK's organisation which provides nuclear science and technology to protect the UK. So we support the nuclear deterrent, we support counter-terrorist activity in the UK, we invest in nuclear science and technology across a broad front in order to provide the UK government with the capability it needs. Now, the company's been going for quite a number of years and have such an important role to play. Can you give us a bit of an idea on the missions that you look after or the, the areas that you look after as a company? Yeah, so um, our, our purpose as a company is to protect the UK through nuclear science and technology. And in order to do that, we support the UK as nuclear deterrent. So we support the weapon program for the nuclear deterrent. We support the UK's counter-terrorist program. To, uh, we support the testing program to identify where there may be uh, nuclear tests taking place around the world. And we build a really you know, expert cadre of, of scientists and technologists, you know, some world-leading capability in that field in order to give the UK real depth in nuclear science and technology. We'll come to the scale of the company in just a bit because it's mind-blowing how many people you employ and the locations that you work in as well. But what about some of the, the programs that you undertake? So, I mean, we do a wide range of programs, very much involved in you know, defence of the UK, very much involved in the uh, mission of the Ministry of Defence and the nuclear deterrent and supporting the investment and the reinvestment that's been made by both the last government and the current government in terms of, of the commitment to that deterrent. So that's at the heart of what we do and we've been doing that for a long period of time now. We were a, a key part of the Trident programme and we're going to be a key part of the new programme for the new um, submarine fleets and the new deterrence that's going to be provided you know, by the UK in order to protect itself and its citizens. Clearly at the moment we are seeing uh, a, a, a very tricky geopolitical situation going on. Has this changed your remit? Has it changed the focus of the company in any way? Well, I think it's, it's put a real focus onto why we're doing this. I mean, I don't think it could ever be more important than it is now to make sure that the UK has got a deterrence, that the UK can actually protect itself in a very volatile world. Um, and also the commitment um, three years ago to reinvest in that deterrent means that as well as it being incredibly important, we are now investing in AWE as a company in order to make sure that we can build and create all of the right capability to keep that deterrence going for the next 40, 50, 60 years. Might seem like a, a silly question to ask you, but has the change of government had any impact, any changes for you, or is it business as usual? Well, it's absolutely business as usual. And it was fantastic to see the commitment by the new Labour government in the UK's nuclear deterrent. I think they recognise you know, what the world position is at the moment. And, and it was fantastic to see the, the commitment in that. So it is definitely business as usual. You know, the reinvestment in our organisation, the building of new infrastructure, the recruitment of you know, the very best science and technology capability and, and, and people from every academic institution around the UK is very much part of that future and it's fantastic to see that that future has really been invested by the new government. More than 8,000 employees across your organisation and, and when we talk about employees we're talking levelling up as well because you're not just in the south of England, you're all over the place with, with locations. So give us an idea then of, of this recruitment drive that I hinted to at the beginning. So. The, the reinvestment in our nuclear capability means we need to get the very best science engineers, scientists engineers, uh, and, and people with every you know, capability you know, from our finance support to our people teams, you know, so a vast range of capabilities and, and people with different skills that we need to invest in. And it's all part of the nuclear skills program that the government launched about, uh, about six months ago. Um, so we need to recruit people from all over the country. As you say, we've got major manufacturing facilities just south of Reading, but we're also in Scotland. We are also in Leicester, at Leicester Space Park. We're in Sheffield at the Advanced Manufacturing and Technology Centre. We are in the Midlands. We are down on the south coast in Alverstoke where we have a facility. We're in France. We have people in, uh, in America. So very much a UK national business, but with those outposts as well in France and, and the US. But that means we need to recruit people from all over the UK. 
um, and we need the very best people because what we do is incredibly challenging and right at the cutting edge of science and technology. So how do you go about recruiting the very best in all the different areas that you need to recruit? Well, first of all, we need to make sure that we are visible as a company. And even just going around Farnborough today, it was great to see that we're now advertising. All of the uh, double-decker buses going past have AWE signs on the side of them. Um, because we've not really gone out there and told people what we do before. That is really important to us now, because if we want the best, people need to know we exist. But we also have great, um, uh, great partnerships and relationships with some of the very best academic institutions in the UK. And we you know, sponsor huge numbers of PhDs. We have a massive graduate program. We have a massive apprenticeship program. I mean, one of the largest graduate and apprenticeship programs in the UK. And I think our PhD program probably is the largest of any employer in the UK. So that's another way that we, we get out there and we talk to the types of people that we want to recruit. Fantastic stuff. Look, Nick, hopefully we can check in in two years' time back at the Farnborough International Air Show, maybe in between as well. But until then, thank you very much indeed. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.